Hey guys, it's Dana, and I'm going to show you how to make these incredible seed crackers. Now, I am using a gluten-free flour inside of mine. You can use a wheat flour if you prefer. These are easy, and as long as you have some kind of seeds in your house, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, you can make these crackers. You are not going to believe how easy this recipe is and how much you overpay in the grocery store for a simple cracker. Delicious, crunchy, hearty. They can really take on a good dip, a nice piece of prosciutto, piece of cheese. It's all in what you want to put on top of these crackers, but these little babies can take it. Okay, we're going to start with one cup of pumpkin seeds, one cup of sesame seeds, one cup of golden flax seeds or whatever flax seed you happen to use. I added a generous teaspoon and a half of salt and you'll want that in there unless you are flavoring these crackers. I also go one step further. I love putting everything but the bagel in here. And you know, it really seasons it well and gives it a little texture, even more so than it has. Okay, so this is my tapioca flour. There'll be two cups of that. I'm adding in an additional tablespoon of sesame seed. Okay, we wanna give this a good stir. Okay, now we're going to add in two cups of hot water. They were just boiled in my tea kettle. And then I'm going to add in olive oil. Then we'll mix it. And here's my olive oil, this is a half a cup. I'm not worried if a little bit stays in there because I'm gonna need that anyway. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to mix this up and then we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to knead this together between two pieces of parchment paper and bake it. I like to go in there and really make sure this is mixed up because I don't want any flour taste. You can add Parmesan in here if you want as well. Okay, let's just let that sit. So basically we're gonna cut the dough, this in half. It's been sitting for 10 minutes. We'll cut that in half. We'll take and work with part of it, squish it out so it's all even. I'm going to use this. It works really well, my rolling pin. We'll make it flat, thin, as or thick as you prefer, and then we'll bake it. That's it. You can start with your hands if you prefer. I mean, you're working on top of paper, so you don't have to worry that much. And this is really, really nice batter. And I'm not worried that this is going to be a perfect rectangle either because it doesn't need to be. If you get anything that's not going the way you want it to, roll it the other way. Okay, if you remember, I said you would be able to use the rest of the olive oil. So what you wanna do is make sure you brush this all over and then we're gonna give it a good drizzle. You can use everything but the bagel on it. You can use sea salt, garlic salt, whatever you want to top it with. The only thing I don't like doing is putting the Parmesan on top. It kind of gets a funny flavor. Okay, so you can see they're crisp, crunchy. Just break them into pieces. 